Hello there. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You too, especially since, I mean, it'd be nice to meet you anyway, but it helps that I saw your short film yesterday. Oh, good. And I don't, well, well, first, give me a little bit of a timeline. Like, what was the kernel of this and when did it start? Yeah, so when I started writing the film, my Zadie, which is my grandfather, was about to turn 100. My parents were going to turn 70 and my nephew was going to turn four. And I was thinking about the passing of the baton of life and that I wasn't the kid anymore. And I had actually been a babysitter in my early 20s. And I babysat this wonderful little four-year-old who was so loving. Um, but one day he was trying to shoot me dead with his little finger gun. And I said, do you know what that means? And he said, no. And I said, well, if I was dead, I wouldn't get to come here anymore. I wouldn't see you anymore. And he got really sad, as you do, as we would all feel, you know? And so I just started thinking about how the kind of big tragedy of everyone's life is that we're gonna die one day. And so will everybody around us and we'll have to go through this sadness and this grief over and over and over again. So how do we talk about that in our culture? How do we share that really personally? And how do we talk to children about um, that? And in my own life, I'm very scared to share sad things. Mm -hmm. Um, I am the child of a therapist and I'm good at listening, but not very good at sharing. So I think it really is a, a film about rem remembering that that act of bravery actually like creates community and reminds you that you're not alone and reminds other people that they're not alone in their sadness and difficult times. Sure. I think that there there's probably wrong ways to express grief, but I don't know if there's a right way. Um, That's so true. And I, I think it's kind of a... a emotional reckoning that we're about to see a lot of just speaking for myself. I had so much uh, personal and professional loss in the past year or so. Uh, and I lost my father and this, this um, film really spoke to me on that level. I'm so sorry to hear that. And in some ways I feel like I haven't processed it as well as I would have in a different time. And I think this movie makes it, um, Let's me know that it's okay to not do things the way that I'd be expected to. I don't know. Is that, is that something that kind of went through your mind when you were writing it? I think personally, I don't know how to share. I'm so scared of sharing. And mm -hmm. so if that's what comes through for other people, that maybe we can be bad at it and that's okay. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I'll also say that actually on set, the week we were shooting, um, we had three deaths occur, one of which was my grandfather. Uh, not deaths within the set, but deaths of, of, of people who were working there, friends and family. And, you know, it was kind of a gorgeous thing to all be there together, making this film, talking about these hard things and have, and, and sort of, and, and experience it together to, to be able to talk about it for Dash to come to set one day and say, my mommy's a little sad today because her friend died. And then we went upstairs and we had a conversation about death. Um, I hope that things like that come out of this film and, and folks who watch it. So I'm really appreciative that it meant something to you. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, for, for a split second, I was wondering if you were just a, a horribly uh, unsafe director and you just kill all these people on set, but that's not, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I was getting oh, flowers and, and things. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and just last question very quickly, you got such a tremendous performance out of that young, young child actor. And there's always a, I, you know, like the oldest in the book is, you know, like, don't work with kids. Uh, what is your thought on that? Work with kids. They're wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I think the film is about how much joy children bring to our lives and can really remind you what's fun about living. And I think we absolutely got to experience that. I mean, it's very fun to go to work every day and have a little five-year-old uh, want to play and, and literally play hide and seek when he gets upstairs or like play tag or anything, you know? Uh, I, I loved it. I, I had the, the most incredible experience working with Dash. 